I share with our players frequently, you know, how important it is for them to have people in their lives that genuinely care about them and people that want to and can and will make their life better. And teachers do that. Teachers have the capacity to do exactly that. Our youngest daughter is an elementary school teacher. Absolutely loves it. The important thing to me and the reason that I'm so pleased that she's doing it is the fact that she so truly cares about those young people. I think about uh, you know, my time in school and how significant so many people were to me and, and people that I still have great admiration for, people, some of them who have passed, uh, who truly meant a great deal to me and I would not have had you know, any degree of success whatsoever uh, as a person in my life had it not been for people that I had in elementary school as teachers and administrators and the same in high school and the same at the college level for that matter. You know, and I think back when I was uh, an elementary school student and I was probably, you know, as honorary as the next young man and <clears throat> maybe more so in some occasions and probably could have uh, could have gone in a, you know, in a very negative direction. And yet, you know, there were people there, I, you know, I remember the names, uh, you know, uh, Mrs. Houston, uh, who was the principal of uh, my elementary school, who took a personal interest in my direction. I was an only child with a uh, single parent who, who worked all the time. So I had too much free time on my hands and uh, probably could have gone in a different direction. And she helped give me guidance because she cared that had an impact on my life. And when I got into college, you know, or into high school, you know, same thing, teachers that impacted my life, administrators, a fellow that, uh, named Basil Hohen, who was a vice uh, principal at Lafayette High School, where I attended. And uh, Mr. Hohen uh, probably saw me more than he really would like because he was uh, uh, in charge of discipline. And so I've spent more time in his office maybe than, uh, uh, than anyone would like. But he took a genuine interest in me. School at a young age wasn't the most significant thing in my life. It became that. But at one time it wasn't. And my mother worked all the time. So every once in a while uh, she'd leave to go to work and I would stay home and not go to school. And Mr. Hohen, because he had that genuine interest, he, he came to our apartment to get me back into school, you know, and to this day I have a great appreciation, you know, for that because he cared. And my point is simply this, I don't think anything is more important than genuinely caring about the young people that you work with. I uh, started teaching, I was a high school teacher and coach for uh, what, nine years, you know, before I went into college. And when I went into college, I was initially a teacher. And even here at Kansas State University, I taught a class at, uh, at one time in the School of Education. I was the only head football coach in the United States, you know, of Division I football to teach a class. And I did it because I wanted to. When I got out of college, I went immediately to Gallatin, Missouri. I taught four classes and I coached every sport that they had, men's and women's, and drove a school bus, and I made $3,600 for the year. Again, I taught four Spanish classes. Three of them were first year Spanish, and one of them was second year Spanish, and I knew absolutely nothing about Spanish. I went to William Jewell College, and you had to have a foreign language at the college level as a liberal arts, and so I took Spanish. For the most part, it was kind of reading and writing. And, and I could do a little bit of that, but I certainly couldn't <clears throat> speak the language and uh, didn't have a great concept of what Spanish was all about. Every night, you know, when I would come home, I would stay up to two or three o'clock in the morning trying to stay one step ahead of those four classes that I had for the next day. The following year, I went back to college to get a master's degree and then went to Indio, California. I was going to teach, uh, I think, a math class and uh, physical education classes and then coach several sports. The principal uh, called me aside and he said, uh, we've got a little bit of a problem. 
and one of our teachers is bearing a child and will be out for the first semester and I am trying to divide up her classes and I'm wondering if you would take one of her classes for me. And before I could say anything, it's a Spanish class. I thought at the time, you know, I probably have two options. One is to teach the class and the other one is to get fired. And so I wanted to keep my job. So as, as much as I didn't want, you know, to get back into the classroom teaching Spanish, I, uh, I still said, yes, I will do that. You know, anybody that's kind of followed us here, we've been at uh, Kansas State for a long time now, but you know, I think probably as, as early as maybe 10 years ago, I've said on numerous occasions, you know, it's not true now, but I've said on numerous occasions, you know, I would have gone back and taught at the high school level and coached at the high school level in a heartbeat and had no issues with it, you know, because it was so significant to be able to know that you can have such a positive impact on the lives of, of young people. My encouragement to you quite obviously is, you know, doing it for the right reasons. You know, and as I said, I, in, my, in my way of thinking, you know, the right reasons are because you care about young people and you really want to give them the guidance and direction to help them become successful in their life.